Hello there and welcome to June 2019 paper one. Here we're going through question two. So figure one shows a plot of a part of a curve of the equation y equals cos x where x is measured in radians. Use the figure to show why the equation cos x minus 2x minus a half equals zero has only one root and giving a reason for your answer. So if we take cos x minus 2x minus a half equals 0 and start rearranging this cos x equals 2x plus a half so we'll take the 2x and the half on the other side then if we draw this graph y equals cos and then we draw this graph here y equals 2x plus a half then the solution to this initial equation will be the amount of intersections of these two graphs here. So drawing this on, okay, let's be careful of the scale of this graph. The cos graph goes up to 1, so on the y-intercept it's going to be at half, so I know it will cross there. And then for the gradients, let's be careful of that as well. This value here is going to be pi by 2. Now given that pi is about 3.14, pi by 2 is going to be about 1.57. So um, it's going to be intersecting at a quarter, minus a quarter there. So it's going to have a positive gradient. So it's going to look something like that. A bit difficult to tell exactly, but, but that's what it's going to look like. So now we need to write an explanation for the second mark. This is y equals 2x plus half. Given that y equals cos x and y equals 2x plus half has only one intersection, the equation Um, cos x equals 2x plus a half will have only one solution. Okay, there we are. So that's the answer for part A. Let's now move on to part B. Okay, given that the root of the equation alpha is small and that a is small, so that's supposed to be an alpha as well, and that alpha is small, I use the small angle approximation for cos x to estimate the value of alpha to three decimal places. Okay, well, cos of x, when x is small, it's approximately 1 minus a half x squared. Now that's in the formula booklet when x is small. So you can just recall that from the formula booklet. So now we've just got to solve 1 minus 2, so 1 minus a half x squared, that's the cos x bit, minus 2x minus a half equals 0. So let's first tidy this all up. It'll be minus a half x squared minus 2x and then it'll be plus a half from the 1 and the minus a half combining equals 0. Let's times by minus 2 on all of this. That'll be x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. So now it's going to be the solution to this quadratic equation. So it's going to be x, if I complete the square real quickly, x plus 2 squared minus 4 minus the 1 equals 0. Move everything onto the other side. Now it's going to be x equals minus 2 plus or minus root 5. But we can see from going back and having a look at where the solution is, it's going to be on the positive part of the solution. So therefore, as x is greater than 0, x equals minus 2 plus root 5. And now all that needs to be done is to convert this into three decimal places. Just grab my calculator here. x equals minus 2 plus root 5 plus root 5 equals 
three decimal places, 0 0.3, sorry, 236. 0.236 to three decimal places. And there we are, that's the answer for this question here. Right, that's the answer for question two in total. Let's now move on to question three.